Welcome to another one of my videos. We have been dealing with digital I.O. So we've used digital read, digital write, and we have used in mode as well. We can use analog output to analog input read and by analog read. So um, on the Arduino, you've got A0 to A5, but you can use as the analog signal. Other, other pins on the Arduino, the ones with the tilde in front of them, and have post -print modulation so basically can be used to give mimic analog output basically post with modulation um but yeah uh, just the duty cycle from zero to two five five or zero to five volts if you're using binary zero to two five five and basically just what it does is to switch um just these voltages and switch them really fast so it appears as if you have a wide range of analog signals that you are using bear in mind the Arduino Uno 80 megahertz to 8p chip on there it's an 88 microcontroller and the Arduino Uno has an 8-bit analog to digital converter so basically you have zero to two, two five five possible combinations that you can give as an analog so using the pulse wave modulation so basically we've got Analog read, similar to digital read, just an analog version of it. Analog um, reference, analog write. So back to the circuits that we have We're using the four. We have in setup, and in the setup, we basically have a four that um, brings out the serial value or the value of x in this particular case. It prints it 10 times, and then Brings finish afterwards. What we want to do is mimic um, this pulse width modulation and bring it to the output. So, first we play with the pin without the, um, which is not the pulse width modulation pin. In this case, we have LED pins being pin 13 and pin 11. So, we we'll start by initiating them. So, pins, LED pin. 13 and const int yes int ad pin and we have pin yes use pin 11 this time because 11 has the password moderator pin so let's move it to pin 11 instead of pin 12 And we will initiate this to the output. So it's going to define this output. So pin, the red pin, pin, red pin, so. Initialize the yellow pin as well. So, what we want to test is analog, right? We've got good starting from zero, and we want to use remembering it's 8 bit. Output zero to less than 256. Get all the possible combination with x equal to x, and we want to write analog write yes. so. Analog right to pin, we've got LED red pin. We write the value of x, so we have it went from 0 to 255. And then we do an analog right of LED yellow pin. And we move it from 0 to 255. 
and the simulation. We've got me notice the yellow LED increases from less to nothing and then it brings out because the LED, the red LED acts more like a digital pen where it doesn't change the brightness at all. So what is happening? What the name is the pin 13 is not a crossword modulated pin and um, pin 11 is a crossword modulated pin. And on the output the same by the way until finish. So let's play it and run it again, clear the screen, run it again. Yellow LED comes on, keeps blinking, keeps blinking, or keeps light on. And around the value of x equals 125 and the red LED comes on. So let's take a closer look at what is happening. We're going to pull in an oscilloscope. We'll bring in a scope. This side. We connect. Let's put two scopes. Two scopes. Connect it to the negative. Ground to ground, black, and we want to call this cup non with modulated pin. So we will connect that to in 13, which is the red one. Double that red. We will put another stop. And label it to make it a millisecond. The time division for this one two to one millisecond, and we call this scope. Build it for sweet modulated scope. We've got non PWM pin and then PWM pin. That's out of the way. Somewhere there, so it becomes a lot easier to see things. So we'll connect ground to ground. And we will to connect. Positive to pin 11. Red. So we've got the right range. Now we start the simulation and we want to see what is happening on the crossword modulated pin and the non modulated pin. We start the simulation, we notice the crossword modulated pin increase by adjusting the voltage, the number of um, the duty cycle in there between 0 and 1 increases whilst the non post with modulated pin just acts as a digital signal from from zero to one in the square wave whilst the other one automatically. So to make it really clear for us to see, we go back to the code and we can clear this. Um, we can move the bit that executes our statements. It's a lot clearer for us to see. We we'll run it in a loop, and we can see the values being printed. We see the post with modulated pin using the duty cycle, and hence write the brightness accordingly. 
switch is on and goes off goes all the way to 245 and the process root so we have implemented this for the full uh, for loop we can basically use a while as well so to adjust it go back and we say um, x And then we will go back to the wall. It's less than 255. And sure by looking at x, realizing s to be 0, we just run. And after we run the for each time we run this, we want to increment the value of x. We can put x plus plus. plus, plus. And so we have a similar effect where the LED continues bright right as well. So that shows the pulse modulation and how we use analog right to pulse rate modulation. Make sure you are using the pulse rate modulator pin, else you may have a digital then return on the outside or have some runtime. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned if you want to watch.